I would say that over the course of your life, you have changed many things. This was your favorite friend, your bestest friend in the whole wide world, and next year you don't even talk to them. Uh, maybe this is your favorite music. This is the best band ever. You listen to them 24 hours a day. Suddenly, a few years later, you're throwing away the tapes or the CDs. They're not in anymore. And then, and then when you're a kid, you want to be a policeman. And then you want to be a doctor. Then you change your mind, you want to be a businessman. Now, now you change your mind, you want to be a pastor. Now, if somebody sees that over the course of their life, and suddenly you say, I have found the best thing in the world, Jesus Christ. What do you expect they will think? Just another fad. Just another thing you're going another phase you're going through. So what are they waiting for? They're waiting for you to change. They're waiting for you to give up. And so you don't realize your lifestyle, a consistent Christian lifestyle, is the most important witness to your family. If you have always been wavering, flip flop, you're easily swayed, then what must you do when you become a Christian? You must become solid as a rock, immovable, unchangeable, especially when they criticize, especially when they reject you. For the brothers of Jesus Christ rejected Jesus, they lived with the Son of God. And did you know they made fun of him? They made fun of him. Do you think you are better than Jesus Christ? Absolutely not, right? So if our Lord, who's the best evangelist, the best witness, the best preacher in the world, even if he was initially rejected by his brothers, then we can also expect that we will get a little bit of criticism and rejection.